Well hello, thank you for joining me again on the Church History Trail and today we find ourselves in Lock Bricklin, County Down and the village here was occupied by the Duke of Schomburg's troops in September 1689 before they marched to Newry and most of the village had actually been destroyed in the 1641 rebellion and the reason why we're here today is because Enoch Paul, who was part of the Conservative Party, actually lived here for a time. And Enoch Paul, Enoch John Paul, MBE, was born on the 16th of June 1912 and he died on the 8th of February 1998. As I say, he was a British politician who was a Conservative. He was a Conservative member of Parliament. He was also a Brigadier in the British Army in World War II. But as a Conservative MP, his Rivers of Blood speech delivered on the 20th of April 1968 made him a very controversial figure. Um, Paul was returned to the House of Commons in October 1974 as the Ulster Unionist Party MP for Northern Ireland, for the Northern Ireland constituency. It was, constituency. It was actually for South Down. And he lived here for a time, at least, in Lock Brickland and this is actually the house here. The house is now the chemist but this was the house that Enoch Paul lived in for a time. It's now Partridge Chemist. Now I did ask if I could fill them inside but unfortunately uh, they declined but they did say I could fill them outside and so this was actually the house that Enoch Paul lived in in Lock Brickland. So it's amazing when you think of it and just up on the hill, we have the Covenanter Church. I'll just zoom in and let you see that. And then also up on top on the other hill, you can see the spire of the Roman Catholic Church. And also just on the left-hand side, just beyond the garage there, you can see part of the building of the Church of Ireland. And so this is Lock Brickland. It's not a very big village, it's a small village, but it certainly packs a lot of history. Thanks for joining me today, and if you enjoy the channel, then please like and subscribe. God bless.